Let's take a look at isosceles and equilateral triangles. These are two uh, important types of triangles. Okay, uh, in an isosceles triangle, we have that uh, two sides are the same. So here we have isosceles. Okay, and also, if these two sides are the same, then the angles across from them are also the same. So we have that this angle is congruent to this angle. Over here, we have an equilateral triangle. Equilateral, just think all equal. So all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same length as well. And since all the angles are the same length, and in a triangle, the angles have to add up to 180 degrees, that means each angle is 60 degrees. So, for isosceles, if you have two angles that are the same, then you know that the sides across from them are also equal. It's vice versa. If two angles are the same, the two if two sides are the same, the two angles across from them are the same. And if two angles are the same, then the two sides across from those are the same. And in an equilateral triangle, if we have two angles that are 60, or if we have a triangle with two angles that are 60, then we know the third one's 60, and then we'll know all of the sides are the same. And if we know all the sides are the same, then we would know that all the angles are 60.